With over 3.4 million clearance holders between federal and industry employees, the background investigation process is a large undertaking. The first step for applicants is to provide detailed personal information. On average, it takes three weeks to complete the first step in this process. We think we can cut that time in half while allowing for more accurate data entry. That's where EAP gets involved. EAP was built to accelerate the background investigation process and address the most painful part of the process for applicants, the form. Helpful, timely feedback and validation is important in order to feel confident that your information is accurate. We've provided a few great additions to EAP in order to improve this feedback and validation process. They are address checks, timeline validation, real-time feedback, section reviews, and additional help. EAP uses the U.S. Postal Service address validation tool to validate many of the addresses across the form. Validating and helping the applicant correct these addresses before submission helps to cut down the number of kickbacks from an agency reviewer. EAP's integration with the U.S. Postal Service checks all U.S. addresses for accuracy and formatting. If an address is missing information or is not formatted properly, the tool will suggest edits or alternate addresses to choose from. Returning a form to an applicant for corrections can add days, weeks, or in some cases months to an investigation. Over half of those returns are the cause of incomplete addresses. EAP hopes to take that number to zero. Sections that ask for information over a period of time are some of the most challenging parts of the form. Remembering addresses, schools, and acquaintances over a 5-10 to 10 year period is hard to keep track of. EAP provides a timeline validation tool in each of these sections of the form. This tool helps the applicant to identify which parts of the time period they have successfully entered data and which parts are still missing data. Each of these timeline sections of the form will also show the applicant gap errors when they're missing information within a certain period of time. Invalid coverage or scope of these timeline sections accounted for 15% of kickbacks. Generally, timeline sections account for the largest percentage of discrepancies across the entire form. Catching these discrepancies early will speed up the feedback to the applicant and cut down on the time to complete these more complicated sections. Many of the fields across EAP validate in real time. This means that an applicant will know if they've made a mistake within a form field as soon as they leave that field. This helps to catch errors quickly and reduces the number of errors that someone has to fix across the form. In this example, you can see that typing in a document expiration date that occurs before the issue date shows an error message as soon as the applicant is done typing. This shortens the feedback loop and allows the applicant to make fixes and updates to their information faster. At the end of each section of the form, applicants are provided section review pages. These section review pages help validate the form in smaller increments so that the applicant is not overwhelmed with a large number of errors all at once. It also allows applicants to double-check their information at multiple points throughout the form. If there are any errors in each of these section reviews, the applicant is able to make updates to that information directly from the review page, alleviating the need to hunt down the invalid question on another page. EAP provides additional help callouts for certain questions within the form. These callouts provide clarifying definitions of jargon or acronyms or clarifying directions for a question. Improved clarity of instructions and definitions was among the top recommendations based on usability sessions with applicants. In addition to data validation and help, we've included common best practices in web form organization and saving to help applicants complete their data entry faster and with more confidence. These improvements include section reordering, question branching, mobile responsive layout, and auto-saving. EAP has reorganized the sections and subsections of the SF forms into a more intuitive and logical groupings. It lightens the mental load by grouping like items together and collapsing other sections when the applicant is busy in one. The sections have also been reordered in order to ease the applicant into the form. The first few sections are lighter weight personal details, while the later sections dig deeper into more complicated situations and information. Top-level yes-no questions within EAP provide helpful branching. By default, branched questions are hidden and are only shown to the applicant if needed by answering yes to a top-level question. This branching ensures that the applicant only sees questions that are relevant to them as they're moving throughout the form. EAP is a mobile responsive web application. This means that applicants can access the form from any desktop or mobile device. The layout of the application will respond to each device size, making it easier for applicants to use EAP from home, an office, or on the go using a tablet or smartphone. As applicants are filling out their forms, EAP will auto-save their progress. 
This helps to boost confidence that their information will be safe if they leave the page or sign out of eApp. We're confident that these advancements in eApp will provide a consistent, reliable, and fast experience for applicants during one of their first interactions with the background investigation process. Not only will these improvements help applicants, but they'll also help to speed up the overall investigation by collecting more accurate and detailed information.